Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Unfortunately, there's no Emmy here this weekend. Just had to go back to a restaurant in Scotland. Uh, so, unfortunately, you have stuck with me. In part one of the nightcap, I make a little tool for myself. Two or three weeks ago, I got a, a, like a package given. And there was some chucks in it. And I make a, an adapter out of an old broken most type of three drill to take the drill chuck. Um, I show up quite a bit of that. In part two, it's either going to be a, a steam valve fitting, weld up and remachine the thread, or it could well be some more video from the Hawker uh, steam engine restoration project, which is coming on really well indeed. Oh dear, you might well say, well, it wasn't one of my ideas. I picked it out of a, a skip in the engineering works I was at the other day. Um, it's an inch and a 16 drill being snapped off. It, it happens regular, it's not a... It's not an uncommon thing when you're pushing drills really hard. Um, I was given a drill chuck and some stuff I got a fortnight ago. It's a really nice chuck, uh, threaded half inch here one F, and I'm going to use this as an adapter to put that drill chuck on to use on my lathe. So drills, as you well know, are hard. That, that bit there is really hard. But this bit here should be machinable and it's got a nice tape on it. So I'm going to put it on the lathe, polish the tape on up then mount this in the headstock direct into an adapter and put a half inch UNF thread on there and we should have quite a nice little adapter for a, a chuck. The tape is really good, there's one or two little marks on it but it certainly isn't bad at all. You can see I've got quite a long bit of tape and I'm holding it between finger and thumb. I'm not wrapping it on my hand so I can, I can just let go. Because when things go wrong with every tape and layers, they go wrong very quickly. What you're doing to do is that sort of thing, because if it grabs it'll just pull your hand off, simple as that. There's some little ding marks on there, but I'm sure that'll be quite a nice fit. I'll try it in the, the tail stock. That feels nice. It's also got the, the dog on the back. People think that's for driving, it's not, that's to extract it from the taper. It's actually the friction of the tape that causes the drive. Right, so that's a nice fit in there. I did have a blank that went on there. Uh, but the friend of mine's got it, so he's going to make a, a chuck adapter for us. So we need to make sure that's nice and clean in there, really clean. A bit of brake cleaner. And a little bit of swarf in there. That's the adapter that goes in, it's a Morse 3 to whatever that, that taper is there, it's, um, I'm not quite sure what it is. So we need to clean that up as well. So it goes into there. Then if I can find what I've done with a scabby bastard drill, right, then that fits into there quite nicely. See, I have got an adapter that goes onto there, but 
Unfortunately, someone's got a lend of it. So there's nothing holding that in there other than the taper. Explore and see how hard it actually is, or how tough it actually is. Hard dead. Just a high speed steel cotton blade, I haven't got any tips, I haven't tipped ball and ball yet, I haven't tipped cotton off to it. It's obviously a nice rigid setup I've got here, I've no other hand to speak of. So if you get the chance of damaged more taper drills, get them. And you can use the you can use the shank for making various tools out of. I've drilled these before and put centre drills in them. I put quite a few modified more taper shanks or broken drills. It's obviously good material. Harder in the centre, you get the bad bit, you can see it's trying to push the tool off. Hard there. Yeah, the centre's quite hard compared to the, not hard, tough compared to the outside. We need this machine down to half inch to take a half inch U on that thread. I'll measure it and see how deep we need to go. Right, we need 20 mil. Twenty mil of thread. I'll just take some of this material off here. All I've done, I've set the boom at a half inch. So if we zero it there, two and two millimeters, that'll give me a direct reading of how much I need to take off there. Three mil. It'll take a one mil cut, that'll take two mil off it. Down in just a funny hair on that one mill.
Right, so that is basically half inch. I put a micron on there when we we'll measure half inch. Right, one of the important things, or the most important thing, is that face there must be nice and square. So I'm going to go on with the parting tool, put a little recess in there, and then square that face up. The chucks go onto that face there. That's what makes the chuck run nice and true. Nice little the parting tool. Just going to thin it down a little bit. That's a nice clean cut across there. I'll just break that nasty sharp corner. I could screw cut this, but I've got a good half inch here on that die, so I'm just going to use the die. Right, we'll give it a, a go and see what happens. Nice slow speed. And that's purely and simply the friction on the most tape I drive in that, nothing else. Pretty nice sharp fade. I'm going to run a die nut up there now just to take that last little bit off. I'm lucky that I've got a lot of new world stock imperial taps and dies of a friend which I use all the time, especially on the, the steam engine stuff, so they've come in really handy. Appears you're not really tempted to put the machine to drive to do all this. Could lock tight this chuck onto here, but it's not going to be turned backwards, just forward, so it doesn't need to be. It's quite slack on the thread, that doesn't matter because it's that face there that lines it up. Right, uh, we'll put this in, which is going to be fairly accurate, it's a, a round dull pin. Go and put a clock on so good it actually is. It's got probably three or four thou run out, which is certainly near enough for a, a drill chuck. Just put a bar through there. Go on the head stock and bump it on like that. 
That's it, it's a new little house. Another tool. Another chuck I got given. Which was a mo one most taper. It's a chuck made by Kawasaki. I didn't know Kawasaki made chucks, but I've been told that it is a real quality item, and when you look at it, it is a quality item. That's going to be good for obviously really small drills 